Welcome back. In our previous video, we learned that temperature is determined by the speed of molecules. The faster the molecules move, the higher the temperature. Today, we will continue discussing energy with a quick activity, and when we're done with today's lesson, we'll have a short quiz. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered what color the inside of your eyelids are? They are pink. Now, close your eyes. Do you see the color pink? No, you only see darkness or the color black. Why is that? Let's explore. When you close your eyes, your eyelids absorb the light that you would normally use to see. This is because all energy travels in waves, and the light waves are absorbed by your eyelids. Sound and light both travel in waves, but they are two different types of waves. Sound waves are mechanical, meaning they are caused by a moving object. For example, a speaker moving produces sound waves. Clapping hands does this as well. Sound is not the only form of mechanical waves. Earthquakes and waves in the ocean are both categorized as mechanical waves. Light waves, on the other hand, are electromagnetic and broken into seven categories, from weakest to strongest. These categories are Radio waves Microwaves Infrared, also known as heat Visible light Ultraviolet X-rays And gamma rays each of these waves have different characteristics, uses, and energy levels, but they do have a few things in common. Before we discuss this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will be doing videos on each of the new standards. The more likes and subscribers we receive, the more videos we will do. Thank you! Now, back to the video. Did you know that electromagnetic waves are a type of light that carries energy? This is the first thing that all electromagnetic waves have in common. Even radio waves, which cannot be seen by humans, are considered a form of light and carry energy. Some animals, like bats, use sound waves to see instead of visible light. Although sound waves are not part of the electromagnetic spectrum, they prove that vision goes beyond what humans use. Therefore, all waves on the electromagnetic spectrum are considered a form of light. It is also possible to convert electromagnetic energy into another form by increasing or decreasing its frequency. For instance, a microwave can turn into visible light by increasing its frequency, while an X-ray can become infrared by decreasing its frequency. This is why everything on the spectrum is considered light. The second characteristic all waves share is the common characteristic of being able to be absorbed, reflected, or transmitted by objects. Interestingly, every object may react differently to each type of light. For instance, while mirrors reflect visible light, they will absorb X-rays and radio waves. Additionally, microwaves pass through them without any impact. However, regardless of how waves interact with glass, they all possess the fundamental properties of absorption, reflection, and transmission, except for gamma rays, which cannot be reflected. All waves can either be absorbed or transmitted, and when visible light is transmitted, it becomes visible. But if visible light is absorbed, we perceive the object as the color black, which explains why our eyelids appear black despite being pink. This happens because the skin on the outside absorbs the light waves. Similarly, when infrared is transmitted, there is a rise in temperature around the object that emits the energy, whereas when it is absorbed, the object that absorbs the energy becomes warmer. For example, in a pizza oven, the fire or heating element transmits the infrared energy, and the pizza absorbs it, resulting in its heating up. The third thing that all waves have in common is that they move in straight lines, unless something changes them. It is possible to bend light, but it takes a lot of gravitational force. More gravity than our entire solar system has. If you ever get into an argument with a scientist, you could tell them that their mom is so fat, she bends light. I'll be here all week. Before we review the lesson, it's crucial to note that mechanical waves require a medium to transmit. 
A medium is any substance that can contain other things, such as the Earth's atmosphere, water, or ground. On the other hand, electromagnetic waves can travel through anything, even empty space. However, not all forms of electromagnetic radiation can travel through every object. For instance, microwaves cannot travel through water, but visible light can. Similarly, visible light cannot pass through cement, but radio waves and microwaves can. Now, let's review, and remember, after the review, there is a short 5-question quiz. All energy travels in waves, and there are two types. Mechanical waves, and electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves are made by the physical movement of something. The waves in the ocean, sound waves, and the waves of an earthquake are all forms of mechanical waves. The second type of wave is electromagnetic waves. These waves are made of pure energy and divided into seven categories, from weakest to strongest, they are. Radio waves. Microwaves. Infrared, which is heat. Visible light. Ultraviolet. X-ray. And gamma rays. Although only one category is named light, all electromagnetic waves are considered light waves because the type of electromagnetic wave is dependent on the wavelength. Each type of electromagnetic wave and mechanical wave has different characteristics but all waves can be transmitted, reflected, and absorbed. Certain materials may absorb one type of wave but not another. Lastly, mechanical waves can only travel through a medium, whereas an electromagnetic wave can travel through mediums and empty space. Now let's review with a few questions. Teachers, you can make this video into an ed puzzle or use it as a formative assessment quiz in Google Classroom. The questions are in the description for you to easily copy and paste. Number 1. How does energy move? A. In a spiral. B. In a coil. C. In a wire. D. In a wave. Number 2. What is one difference between an electromagnetic wave and a mechanical wave? A. Mechanical waves require oil. B. Mechanical waves require a medium. C. Electromagnetic waves require electricity. D. Electromagnetic waves require a medium. Number 3. Which of these electromagnetic waves is heat? A. Radio waves. B. Microwaves. C. Infrared. D. Visible light. Number 4. Which of the following is an example of a mechanical wave? A. Radio waves. B. Sound waves. C. X-rays. D. Microwaves. Number 5. Which statement is false? A. All waves can be slowed. B. All waves can be transmitted. C. All waves can be absorbed. D. All waves can be reflected. Thank you for watching. You can watch any of our videos or rewatch this one at any time by going to youtube.com and searching for a C learning. Make sure the logo on the channel is the same as the one you see on the screen at the end of this video. Goodbye.